Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, with the season dying down a little, I wanted to make a few build videos, mostly because I've had a few friends and people commenting on my channel saying they wanted to see more build videos. But because I have a few build videos on my Titan, Hunter, and Warlock that I would like to share. And it's pretty cool because the first build video I'm actually going to make right now, aside from the other build videos that I did for the Titans, specifically for that reason because OEM was getting nerfed but the first build video that I'm gonna do again is actually a multi-class video which means you can do it on any class if you want it doesn't matter if you're a Titan Warlock or, ti or Warlock Titan or Hunter so if you really wanted to you could do this on a Titan or a Warlock or even a Hunter I wanted to do this build video first because I just thought it was a little bit more appropriate to introduce people to builds and honestly, this is probably one of the easiest builds that you could do. I can't, I, I, it, as much as it pains me, you can't really call this a build aside from like two things that you need. So the first one is gonna be overflow, the perk. And as you guys can see, I have overflow on my dire promise, but the cool thing is it's not just on my dire. You can have it on the escape velocity or the false promises. So if you're like, oh, I like auto rifles better there's false promises with overflow or I like escape velocity more there's one with overflow so already I like this build a lot because I can basically do multiple weapons and it's still benefiting because I still have overflow the best one if I'm, if I'm gonna be really honest the best one is gonna be like false promises most of the time because it has overflow and rampage but the second perk you're gonna need is lead from gold now the great thing with lead from gold is it comes with a bunch of weapons so if you wanted a shotgun you can do a shotgun if you wanted a sniper you could do distant stimulus if you wanted a grenade launcher you could do marty's retribution and if you wanted a fusion rifle you can do gallant chart so there are choices the only reason i choose a, my seventh serve cqc is because it's one of my favorite shotguns in the game right now but again if you're doing like more of a sniper build you could definitely go for distant stimulus since you can actually roll lead from gold and firing line. So that's actually it, that's the build. So more specifically, the reason why I love this build is because obviously as you guys can see, I'm benefiting from lead from gold, which means all of all of the like scavenger mods and all of that is going to my, my heavy. So as you guys can see, I have grenade launcher scavenger, enhanced grenade launcher loader, grenade launcher ammo finder, and I should have one here as well, but I don't. And then grenade launcher reserves. So not only am I using all of this more than I am because I'm getting extra ammo for each brick that I pick up, which makes me use seventh serif more. But each time I pick up ammo, I'm getting the overflow perk proc, which means I get to shoot more, essentially growing more fat with strength. That's why I call it that. And that's pretty much it for the build. Like I said, if you're going for, let's say, Say you want to do for whatever reason a linear fusion rifle just put all of the linear fusion rifle stuff up if you want to do a sword same thing go for all that again you can do whatever the fuck you want if you want to double dip you can do double shotgun perks so that way you can get benefits for the tractor cannon and the seventh seraph if you're using you if you want you can use double sniper for the whisper of the worm and again tim, distant timulus i'm telling you guys this loadout is fucking wild. So next thing I'm gonna put up is like just me, footage of me actually using it. The one thing I will say is not a negative, but the best way to use this specific build is in stuff like arenas. So es escalation protocol, the, the blind wall in Dreaming City, Stuff like that really make this build shine a lot more. Don't get me wrong, you can use this anywhere you want, really. You could use this in raids even, but you'll see the best, like, you'll see it benefit the most in arena type activities. And I don't know about you guys, but like a great one would be like the Menagerie. Menagerie is a great one. Uh, raids is also great since each, you have to do each, uh, what's it called? Each encounter. I wanted to share this build specifically because it's just fun. It's not competitive. It's not anything too crazy. It's just a lot of fun to be able to use your heavy as much as you want without worrying about losing ammo, using your shotgun as much as you want without worrying about losing your ammo, 
And the other great thing is, if you guys see my hunter right now, I'm usually using the six coyote. But if I really wanted to, I could just use like this right here and then maybe my liar's handshake. And for one day, if God allows it, we could get lead from gold and one two punch. If I could get that, I could combine two. Oh my God, I can combine two, two builds in one. That would be amazing. But unfortunately we don't live in that world yet. But I've also used like, I'll get this exotic right now so you guys can see it. I've usually used the sealed Ahamkara grass so that way I can reload my shock and immediately. I've used Stompies, Celestial Nighthawk. I've used so many things and I'm not even counting like the Titans or the Warlocks. They have their own separate things as well. So honestly, for for Titan or for for Titans and Warlocks, it, it can get really fucking wild if you really like think about it really hard that's why i like this build a lot because you can just do whatever you want you can even do whatever whatever subclass you want you could have this could be like a sub build to your actual build and that's what's really fun about this build like let it from gold i think is just a fantastic perk and overflow benefits off of just all of this in general so that's pretty much the build let me know what you guys think in the comments below how would you make my build better let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the support i really do appreciate it and i'll have more build videos in the future let me know which class you want next and other than that i will see you guys later Ukraine's up.